In this video, we're going to learn how the wealthiest people in America use this one trick to grow their real estate portfolio and make millions or billions of dollars. Let's go. So what am I talking about here? There is one simple trick and this trick, what it allows you to do is it allows you to continue to grow your real estate portfolio without paying capital gains taxes. And what exactly is this? This is the internal revenue code 1031, otherwise known as a 1031 exchange. So let's break down what it is, what you can do, what you have to do, and what you can't do in regards to a 1031 exchange. So let's use an example. Let's say that you purchased a modest investment property a few years back. Let's say that was $250,000. And at this stage that has grown, the investment has grown and let's say that it's $400,000. And for the sake of simplicity, let's just use that all of that profit, $150,000. There were no closing costs, et cetera. But let's say you made $150,000 in profit. What do you do there? If you sell that property in a traditional way as an investment property, you have to pay capital gains taxes on that $150,000 gain. Now that if it was a short term gain, then that would essentially be taxed as income tax. And if it's a long term capital gain, you could be paying up to 20% tax on the profit that you made on that one specific deal. Now I want you to keep in mind, we are talking about investment property, not your primary residence. There are other tax cheats, tax code, if you will, to be able to get around paying taxes on your primary residence. We're not talking about that. We're talking about investment property. So in this 1031 exchange, what you can do in this scenario is say, hey, 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 I don't want to pay that tax on the $150,000 today. Let's do that sometime in the future. And here's the advantage here. With this 1031 exchange, I can take all of that profit from the sale of the other property and put that towards a like kind investment. And that can then grow where I didn't have to then only take the 250 original investment plus the 150 minus the taxes. And we've got a smaller basis to be able to invest. So you can keep all of those funds working for you in a new investment in real estate and defer those taxes until some point in the distant future. And here's the best part. You can do that multiple times. So there you start off with this modest investment. You can work your way up to a bigger investment, bigger investment, multifamily properties, and really go sky is the limit as far as that goes. So what is a like kind exchange that I referred to? Like kind is a very broad term and that could mean that you go from a condo to a single family home. It could also mean that you go into industrial space. It could also mean that you buy land as long as this is for a, a high and best use business purpose where you're looking to get money on this. This does not work for flip properties. The idea here is a long term capital gain situation just so that we're all Clear. Now, when it comes to how does this particular thing work? Essentially, when you're going to sell a property, you would want to designate that you're going to have this as a 1031 exchange. That's very important because you cannot sell the property and the next day determine, hey, I don't really want to pay taxes on this gain and I'm going to do a 1031 exchange. It does not work like that. If the money sees your account at any point, you cannot qualify for a 1031 exchange. You have to designate that in advance. So that could be a week in advance, a month in advance, but it's got to be an advance of the sale of the property that you're looking to get rid of. Then what happens is you have a 45 day period. You can designate up to three properties that you might purchase after you sold the existing property. And then after the 45 days, you actually have up to six months or 180 days to close on that next property. So there is a little bit of pressure that, that you're going to want to make sure that you're able to fulfill. You want to make sure that you're going to be able to identify the properties, close on those within a six month time frame. because if you cannot, of course, the tax will be due. Now there is something that is called a reverse 1031 exchange. If you 
find a property that you want to purchase prior to selling your other your other investment property but there's a lot of other rules around that so it's just uh, it's it's a little bit more complicated we're not going to go into those details here now here's one important thing about a 1031 exchange you are not allowed to do this by yourself there needs to be an intermediary company that is in charge of handling the funds all of the you know legal wording etc that needs to take place for that exchange to happen and so you'll want to align yourself with an amazing company around a 1031 exchange there are companies who specifically do this exact type of transaction and if you'd like you know, go ahead and send me a message in the comments below if you'd like some more information we work with a few of them that are absolutely amazing but this is a tremendous asset for you to use for your assets to grow your assets. Don't forget about this 1031 possibility and utilize it so that you can grow your real estate portfolio and it's something that you'll be able to hand down for generations. And I promise you that you'll be happy that you did. Do me a favor, like the video, make sure to subscribe, and then here's a recent video for you to enjoy. Thanks again, have an amazing day. Hope to chat soon.